Let's do it! A champion's contender match! Wait, it's champion versus champion. And this is a Patreon request, so... If you want your request done in priority, I have a Patreon account. You can follow it if you want to support me or buy me a coffee. Thanks. Watch me! The following contest is an Iron Woman match! There will be no commentary the later. From Elmwood Park, New Jersey, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Liv Morgan! Just the announcer, the uh, commentators are turned off, but they will be announced, okay? So this is a custom outfit on top of a mod. Kind of works without screwing up the hair, but makeup changed. <laughs> and this is a hidden model for Rose. It's in game, but it's not finished. And from Yorktown Heights, New York, the NXT Women's Champion, Mandy. So, um, the, she actually has the portrait in this costume in the default game, but uh, her main outfit is different. So this was unloaded, and they will have custom outfits, uh, custom moves. I mean, you already seen the outfits, whatever. I'm still drinking my morning coffee. Katsumi is slow. Uh, wake up, Rina. You can do it. <laughs> Started with a finisher. It didn't work. Floats lines and lifts to the ground. When just holds the arm. She goes for a camel clutch. And we're crawling, crawling slowly. Liv trying to get the ropes. She throws Mandy down. She puts her into Boston Crab roll through. Kamenecha. Did not work. This is not a woman match to last the whole time. Tap out counts, but they only give a point. Floor slip. Who's all splattered on the ground? More clutching. She reaches the ropes. Performance Center edits. I kind of like it for variety, but Oblivion. Now 
have hit her finisher, but remember, this is a submission match, so... We'll need to... Clutch the camels! <laughs> or something. Let's go to submission. I think it was a guillotine choke, and I still have it, but... Man, it gets out of it. The Bat of Roses! She floor slip, who's lying on the ground helpless. Dropkick sends her to the ground. She rolls out of harm's way. Come on! What can you do? And she quickly returns her to the ring. Coming in, coming at ya. Coming strong! Yeah, she has a lot of camouflages. I think I gave her Boston Crab also. But she doesn't seem to use it that much. And the hold by Liv. She manages to make Mandy tap out it. We get one point. I'm playing as Liv in case you didn't notice. Switch. Mandy stepping. <laughs> so yeah, this this hair is, is slightly clipping, but uh, I'm still using it for variety. Since I learned to install mods in this game, which is very painful and complicated process, but now I don't have to use hidden in-game hairs, and which are unfinished and sometimes clip. And uh, both of these uh, use base of 2K11 models, which were never completed. But Liv has a custom outfit. It wasn't even made for her was just uh, unused gear by top prop circle musician. I should probably pause the video I made showing around community creations where I get the customs that I use in the videos. Uh, a lot of things changed since I recorded that, like people posted more about the creators like White Blaze or uh, Little in Time, uh, Top Prop Circle, of course what's the status and uh, uh, best in the world or something I forgot the full name I was also doing really good uh, creations they really really helped me out well I didn't personally converse with them they, their creations, their work helped me out that's what I mean But can Mandy hold out? Can Mandy counter? She lifts, live. No, she, she rolls over. Thought she would lift as a counter. Slap. Power whip. Again, you can see the hair is not properly animated. Uh, but I like both of these costumes, I wanted to use them. Hoist her on the top rope. Some elbows to the back, looks really painful. That's more camel toes. <laughs> She's crawling. It's fighting back. Mandy with a strong 
Galloway slam. Plaster her on the plexiglass. Here he power bomb on the plexiglass and on the outside. Brutal. Well, lift puts her into a Boston Crab. And it taps out again. So I'll change my control to her because computer seems to be doing rather horrible. But probably people want the replace. I mean, this move. I want to replay it myself. It's so good. I just uh, love these environmental power bombs. I think at least one person asked me to do more of those. Uh, first class for a bunch of specific fights. I did them all, but I, I think I forgot to upload one. Uh, there was Indy Hartwell and uh, Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. And I did the match with Nikki, but it took a while. But I did like three 20 minute matches. And other people were mad, like, hey, you did three. And you did only one for me, like, come on. Subscribe to my Patreon and I'll do as much as you ask for as, as uh, much as it's possible. Like, of course, if some characters are moved on the existing specific game, then it won't do. So this version of Camel Clutch you cannot crawl from. This is, it's, I guess it's good to know. And I need to the face. Why did it not do? Come on. Roll through most of the Why should not do that? Right? Is it time for a counter attack? Meet the face. That's Mandy's actual finisher. Was for a while. The Nico Nico Ni loves you. Is this meme still relevant or outdated? I have not watched Love Live. I actually don't mind anime from Slice of Life genre. I enjoyed uh, Azumanga Daio, Nichi Joe, uh, Pani Pony Dash, if that can be called Slice of Life though. With the, all the craziness that's around. Ichigo Mashimaro is one of my favorite uh, tunes of all time.
Uh, then you have... Stuff like Keon or uh, Haruhi Suzumi and Ayutsu, which I did not like that much. Not really into Kyoto animation. But yeah, uh, I did watch uh, Idol Master or Love Live, the subgenre of idol based uh, <laughs> slice of lives. Um, just never, never got to watching them. I probably should. But recently, I'm more like the last anime I watched was like the original guns. I'm like 80, uh, 89, no, 79, 78, maybe. Whatever. It's it's from so long ago. Uh... And Mandy gets a point for the Boston Crab. Elbow as leaf counters. And then I watched Gundam Zeta. It was also really cool. Uh, Gundam 93. Uh, uh, 0083 Stardust Memory. Uh, it's a rather good short anime, but it also has its problems. It's really good battle scenes, especially for something produced in the 90s. But also it has mm, is a Top Gun vibe, which is again relevant since they made a sequel to Top Gun. It also has the worst love interest like ever in Nina Purpleton, and also the best female villain ever. Well, I would say anti-villain in Sima Garahau. They made a prequel about her, but it was only an audio drama, so... In Japanese, so unfortunately we don't have a full series. And it's my main... one of my main problems with... Uh, Gundam is that they don't give no justice to their female characters. Uh, like in modern adaptations and video games uh, and the like of original uh, 79 Gundam uh, I confuse 79 for 78 because the model of uh, the anime is Gundam 79 but the mobile suit they use is RX-78 because it was made like before the action starts you know like AK-47 you would see it using like in 48 and 49 it was uh, put into uh, arm, armed force use so I was saying how like when they do original Gundams and uh, modern adaptations they leave uh, Shar Aznavel's sister uh, Sailor Mass, I think. Uh, they leave her. She's not like anywhere. Apparently, the voice actors died, and in Japan, it's like bad luck recasting voice actors. So they just pretend there was uh, no second pilot for original Gundam. Only Amura Ray, and this is kind of like, come on. Eurovision is moves like the, the one female pilot we had. Of course, in Zeta, the situation is much better. But uh, with uh, Paptimus Kiroko basically abusing uh, women. Uh, so, yeah, not better. Better as in there are more women characters. But they're, they're very obviously written by men who kind of admit they don't really understand women and don't really try to. Once more. Right 